to my channel MLT Television. So today we are discussing the new topic organization of histopathology laboratory. The organization is depend upon the location, finance, physical requirements, layout and the accreditation and certification of the laboratory. So first we have to move on the location. It should be easily accessible for both patient and the laboratory staff and must be in the ground floor. In case of finance, calculate the source of profit and the expense of each test. Physical requirement of a lab means it is well ventilated, well lighted, well furnished and it has specific instruments. There are two types of instruments, essential instruments and non-essential instruments. Essential means must have microtome, hot air oven, flotation bath, reagents and stains, coupling jars. Non-essential means tissue processor, automated stainer, automated cover slipping machine and the cryostat. Layout means a lab must have a reception and labeling media, grossing and a fixation room, processing room, staining area, screening room, filing or record keeping room and then academic room. In the reception room, the staff must check the sample bottle and the request form are saying and the cytological report must be attached to the request form. The grossing room must be well ventilated and it must have an exhaust fan to remove the formalin vapors. Embedding and the staining must be done by automatically or manually and the trained technicians can make a good quality sections in the embedding. An ascending order of file keeping must be followed and the labeling slide facing upward. Then the specimens are discarded after 3 to 6 months except the autopsy and forensic specimens. Always keep all records within it and the reports and the slides should be kept in an accessible area and the major abnormalities should be kept as long as the patient alive. Laboratory personnel, a pathologist, lab supervisor, lab technician, junior lab technician, lab assistant or attender and a typist. Each one has its own duty in the histopathology laboratory. Attender or lab technician must receive a sample from the patient and then the technician will fix the tissue. Pathologist will perform the embedding, sectioning and straining. After that, the supervisor will screen and check the quality of the slide. Then the pathologist will give the report. Assistant or typist will dispatch the result and the assistant will file the record. It's all about the organization of histopathology laboratory. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. Do comment on the comment section and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your great time.